Hi everyone and welcome back to Miranda's Laboratory. Today we're going to learn about owls. Owls are predators that do most of their hunting at dusk, just as it's getting dark outside. They will use their strong, sharp beaks to catch their prey, which includes small rodents like mice and moles. But owls can't chew their food with these beaks because they don't have any teeth, so instead they have to swallow their prey whole. The food then travels to an organ called the gizzard that starts to digest all the soft parts of their food. Some things though, like fur and bones, can't be digested and are too dangerous to pass through the owl's body. So instead, the gizzard squishes all of these things up into a pellet that the owl can then throw up. Here, we have a clean owl pellet that we can study. Scientists like to study owl pellets to find out what the owls are eating. So we can carefully break into this owl pellet to find some of the things it's been eating. Here, we can see the jaw of a small rodent. Look very closely and see a little jawbone. What else have we got? We can hear small bones crunching just a tiny bit. Ooh, here we've got a really cool skull from some kind of rodent. So this guy, whoever he was, was eating lots of nice little yummy rodents. Owl pellets get formed just a few hours after the owl has eaten its food. The pellet partially blocks the entrance of the digestive system so that the owl will be unable to eat anything else until this pellet gets regurgitated. Here we've got maybe a little hip bone. What else have we got in here? And these owl pellets can be all different shapes and sizes. It usually depends on the species of the owl. Now, I'm not entirely sure who this came from, but it's a fairly large owl pellet. So it would have been a fairly large owl that produced it. Feels like there's something hard in there. Uh, yes, we've got another little skull here. Kind of hard to see, but there's his teeth. We've got part of his lower jaw right there. Now these owl pellets can contain multiple skulls that we've seen as we have seen already. They'll have their lower jaw bones, lots and lots of other little bones. That looks like a just a big piece of straw in there maybe. We've also got lots of fur from these little animals, the little mice and voles that this guy ate. There's some kind of bone. There was our little skull again. Well, I could study this thing for hours. Thank you guys so much for joining me to learn about owls today. See you next time.